too. All right, we're getting down to the wire here, everybody. Uh, this, actually, I had it sitting in the refrigerator for 30 minutes just because I was talking and droning on and on, and it got a little softer than it usually does when I'm not talking and working quickly. But anyway, um, this is now firmed up again. I just pulled it out of the fridge. Uh, I preheated the oven to 375 right now, and we just have a couple things to do to make it pretty. Um, because I'm using the toaster oven and the heat source is so close to the top of the pie, I'm gonna brush it with cream. Um, if I was baking it in an actual large oven, I would probably uh, brush it with beaten egg uh, because the heat source would be farther away. However, when I use that oven, I found that beaten egg burns really, really quickly. So um, it's not as pretty when it comes out. So cream is the answer, but if you are baking it again in an oven, use beaten egg with a little bit of water um, and then brush it on. So this does not need to be anything fancy. And um, if you are using a real oven, you can absolutely use cream as well. And just FYI, it will not make the top of the pie white. This will disappear as it bakes. Uh, but you do want to get a pretty good layer of this on the entire top surface of the pie, as well as on the crimps as well. Don't beware, don't let it pool too much in here, in these, um, because then it will get a little bit weird. So do it sparingly on the crimps. You can get a little more aggressive uh, with it on the actual top surface of the pie, but these tend to burn a little bit quicker because they are a little bit higher than the rest of the pie. So we're almost done here. Been a long day. Now Kent's ready to eat this. We're we're getting there. It's a labor of love, but you know, we have the time now since we're home and there was no commute involved today. So we can actually cook something nice and something pretty and hopefully delicious. We shall see. All right, that is good. Now as a final flourish, there it is, finished with its cream layer. As a final flourish, I lightly, you don't wanna do like, you know, a thick layer of, of salt, but um, if you have like a flaky sea salt or something really nice and fancy, time to use it is now. I'm just using kosher salt. Just a pinch from a height. Are you suggesting floor to cell? Yes, Kent, floor to cell would be an excellent application. Great. Um, for this, just another one. I'm doing it from high up just for even distribution. And then I know we didn't use black pepper before in the filling, but I think this is a great time um, to add a little extra fresh cracked pepper flavor to the top of this. So I just, again, from above, and I'm not doing a really like thick grind on this. I'm kind of letting it fall where it may. end. All right, this is ready to go in the oven. Yay, finally. Um, one trick that I do, um, we talked about rolling the pastry thin and getting it crisp, but the hardest thing is to get the bottom crust uh, cooked all the way through, especially with the soupy filling so it's not soggy. Uh, so what I found is I have put my this little baking tray that comes with this because it fits in here, but a baking regular baking sheet would be good as well. I let it preheat. It's hot right now. I line it with foil before I put it in so that when I put the bottom of the pie down on that, it already has a place to go and it already starts cooking. So into this little oven we go. It just fits, it's perfect. Say goodbye for one hour. Uh, I will probably check on it at 30 minutes and rotate it uh, so it does brown and bake evenly and check it. 
Um, I say an hour, that's kind of loose. I would check it around the 50 minute mark. What you want is for the crust to be golden brown. When you touch it, it seems crisp and uh, cooked through and firm. And then the filling in the vents that we made, those slits, you want it to kind of be like bubbling out. Um, if it is not doing that after an hour, I would keep it in for 10 more minutes and 10 more minutes after that until you achieve that beautiful golden brown uh, that you want in the crispy crust. And then we can eat it after it rests for at least 50 to 20 minutes. Um, anyway, it's in the oven. We have nothing to do for an hour. We're going to watch some TV, maybe catch up on some emails that came in while I was doing this. And then we'll be back and it will be time to eat. Yay!